co-host. OG Crunks. Uh, and today is episode 58 of the OG podcast. Um, Bezoid is supposed to be here. Uh, don't know where he's at right now. So we're just we're just going with the flow until I hear from him. Um, and uh, but without further ado, OG, how was your week, man? Well, um, as I alluded to earlier, I've been pretty much sick the entire week. Um, apparently, my coworkers decided to all be sick, and I'm in the very middle of them all, so I pretty much caught it. And uh, yeah, been lovely. Um, but despite being sick, uh, some interesting things did happen. Um, nice. First and foremost, no videos because of how I've been feeling. Right. Um, but. Uh, an old friend of me and my girlfriend's who's in a different country actually sent us two gaming headsets, which is freaking awesome. That's actually uh, really cool. Yeah. Um, I have the one that's kind of like blue and black, and then the woman has the one that's all black. Um, but yeah, he wanted to kind of hook us up because we've been really nice to him, so a shout out to him. And then, um, and also... Uh, looks like our boy Bezoid just arrived, so welcome to the group. What up, uh, Bezoid? What up, man? Going. How's good. Going, y'all? Good, good, good. Doing I, good, man. Doing I, good. I, I didn't hear from you, so I didn't know whether you was going, whether you was here, or what was going on. So we just went. But welcome. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, said, I just sent you a message saying yes. I was. <laughs> oh my bad. You know what it is when I go live, I have it where the streamer notification or the notifications on Discord are off. So uh, my bad. I actually figured oh, it out. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 But welcome. 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 Thank you. So you got. So you got two new headsets. That's pretty cool. Uh, yes, two new gaming headsets. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna use one of them next week for the podcast just to see how it sounds on the podcast. Nice. Um, I wanted to wait till I was completely over the sickness before I actually start, you know, using it. I'm not gonna put germs on it already. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, um, you know, the headsets came in. Um, also, my income tax just hit today, which was really surprising. Nice. Like, nice. I got an email this morning saying you should have your income tax within the next one to two business days. And I look at my account; it's already there. And I'm like, oh, nice. Oh, mm. and I, really honest, I wasn't even supposed to get it until the twenty second, according to TurboTax. But oh, you home. used to use TurboTax too. So do we. We we use TurboTax. TurboTax is p- probably one of the best ones to use. It is. Absolutely. So I am going to save the majority of it, though. I'm not going to spend most of it because we are going to be moving into a house later on oh, this year. congratulations. So, nice. Uh, thank you very much. Nice. Uh, so we're going to use the majority of that to help with either the moving, the cost of moving, or uh, the deposits, things like that. So um, nice. even though I have quite a bit of change in there, I'm not going to use most of it. Right, 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 right. Like me and my wife, like me and my wife, we just used our, our last bit of taxes of last year's like a week ago so oh, okay. yeah like like when it, we like we did the same thing um but yeah unfortunately my wife's taxes have been delayed because the new child credit i guess it's like mm-hmm. the new when you claim a kid or whatever now it's yeah. like it's, it's different now and so like everybody's doing it and so it's like causing a big backlog so like, oh, uh, yeah. So like, it, so like, my wife probably won't receive her taxes until like, two to three, three, two to three more weeks, which really sucks. Yeah. Cause, Cause we found a house that we really like. Um, mm. it's like really really nice, and it's like on the market right now for rent. Um, but we were gonna use taxes to move, and so now we have to wait, and it's like, oh my Jesus, <laughs> please Jesus, let the house not go away. Cause it's like it's pointless to fill out an application if you don't have the money to move, like to do the right. big move, you know. So I, we haven't even filled out the application yet, cause we're just waiting to see when the taxes are actually gonna show up and stuff yeah. like that. But we we supposed to be getting a pretty hefty um, pretty hefty uh back return, which is oh, good. Oh yeah, anytime you can claim children, you get a good stack. I yeah, know. yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, you get a nice little stack. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now. For you parents out there, that doesn't mean you go out and blow it on freaking tattoos and freaking stuff. But it's supposed to be some of it for your kid, but not all. 
<laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but seriously, no. I can't get that dragon tattoo on my back. No, bro, no. <laughs> No, you, you can't can't go get those spinners. You can't go get those spinners either. But free wells. Yeah, whoa, dude, that's like back in the days. Free wells, though. Yeah. Oh, free wells. <laughs> so bees. Oh, dude, for real. For real, though. So bees, how was your week, man? Oh, my week was just just nice. Um, uh, I hi, Angela. Go ahead. Big hey, Angela. And I got a question for her too, uh, in a second. Ooh. Um, yeah, my um my week been been very good. Uh, I've been living on Monster Hunter like crazy, but um uh, in real life it's been normal. Just working, taking care of the family and everything. Um, trying to get some gaming in. Um Um I did look up this um Thing from last week for Angela, but I want to make sure that I got what she was looking for, and um, because if I did, this story is gonna make you guys go whoa, because it it it, it okay it made me like look at things a little bit differently um, mm. around this uh swatting thing from Call of Duty. Um, but I'll get into that later. I want to make sure that's the story that Angela was talking about. All right, so, all right. Um, That's interesting, yeah. though. I'm, I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat already, and we haven't even started. Because <laughs> I just, you know, and hearing about new stuff is like that. It just makes you look things differently. It's always, it's always intriguing. Always intriguing. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know you've been living on Monster Hunter, though. Every time I see you on, he on Monster Hunter. <laughs> he on Monster Hunter. I, I'm, I'm on the edge of buying it. Like, I really am. I really, really, really am. But I'm just I'm like... I'm telling you, this game is worth it, man. Throw your money at the screen. Oh, for throw it. my it money is. at the screen, man. And it's, it's not a short game. Like, people have put hundreds of hours into the game and not even close to being done. And the, the Capcom already said there will be DLC in the future. And it won't be cost. It, be, it will be free. Because with all Monster Hunter games, there are no paid DLC. So nice. It's Thanks. a lot of content. Way to take a way, way to take a, a a bite from GTA. Way to go. Yeah, exactly. Way to yeah. go. Man, this is it's, it's never it, this game never feels old. Hey, and you know who was some of the the one some of the DLC is that I've done some Monster Hunter research. Some of the DLC is um, Street Fighter. Street Fighter will be a Monster Hunter. Yeah, um, they had um, they're gonna have the outfit for um, Sakura yeah. and Ryu. Yep. yep. They already had the um, the a they they got the Aloy for your little pet. Uh huh. The, um, you get like a little mo you know one of the monsters uh -huh. for your little pet cat. The next they're gonna have the Aloy um outfit from Horizon Zero Dawn. So. Yo, Cool Dog Ray, let's go, baby. Kuda was playing at NHL. Let's go. <laughs> Angela said it sounded like we were on the same page, Bezoit. Yeah, so she must be talking about the same thing I was talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I have no idea. I'm like out of the loop when it comes to that. Yo, thank you for the bitties. Thank you for the bitties, boobies. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. Land in the plane on the handy kill cam runway. I appreciate it. Hopefully he flew you first class, first class, and gave you all the salty, salty nuts you wanted. <laughs> uh, what is up there, Master? How you doing, Master? How you doing today? But that's that. Yeah, I, I'm I'm on the edge. I'm thinking about it. I really am because it's like. I want to buy a new game, but it's like, I don't, like, I, I'm just like, I don't know. Because, like, right now, like, I'm in love with, I'm in love with PUBG right now. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is with me right now with <laughs> PUBG and Overwatch. Those are the two games I'm in love with right now. Last night, I was playing PUBG off stream, and I freaking, like, went on, like, a seven kill streak. And I almost freaking won the game. I was, I was like, on the edge of my seat. I was like, I'm going to get my solo win. It's crazy. What's up, DB? Uh, they are plenty. Uh, 
If if I just want more, just ask. No, I'm good. I don't I don't need I don't need crew dogs nuts. Thank you though. Thank you though. Thank you though. I'm all good. But um, last night I was playing um Overwatch. What what you was playing Overwatch last night? Man, yeah, that's another game I'm in love with. Those are like my two. Those are like the two games I'm in love with right now. Is that is an Overwatch. In fact, so, uh, somebody in the stream uh, yesterday asked me if I had to, if I could only play one game in uh, for the rest of my life, what game would it be? And I picked Overwatch because it's stable. Um, the there's no bugs like like, and if there is bugs, it's not game breaking bugs. It's not frustrating. It runs smoothly. It's got the competitiveness and. It's always changing in a, in, a, in a weird sense. So yeah, I picked Overwatch. Out of Between my all games, uh, like ever, like all games that I have, I, all ga- like like he said, other the games that I have, what game would I play? For, what game could I play for the rest of my life? Out of hmm. all the games I own, what what game could I play for the rest of my life? And you I know said, what? That's a good question. That is a good question, right? And I was gonna actually. Um, ask it for the podcast, so we might as well ask it. Um, so, what games, If out of all the games you guys own right now, what is the one game that you guys could play for the rest of your life? If you could only play one game for the rest of your life. Wow. That is a... DV, I'll let you go. The OG, I'll let you go first. Oh, <laughs> oh passing the buck, I see. I gotta think. I need a little time. <laughs> well... Uh, I'm not going to include mobile games at all. This is going to be just games I physically have. Um, but uh, I'm probably going to say Final Fantasy X. Wow. Uh, it's a game that even though it's one player, I'm really more into one player games and multiplayer games anyway. But there's so much to do. Like, I spent hundreds of hours just on Blitzball by itself. What up there, Iceman? Yeah, Blitz, uh, Blitzball, Blitzball, needed, Blitzball needed to be its own game. Like I agree. Yeah. Like, of which, with the right tweaking, that could be so legit. What we gonna Speaking say? of which, Blitzball is coming to Final Fantasy fourteen. Just oh. put that out there. <laughs> but, oh, God. Of the game, which one? Oh. It was easy for me. Cause, yeah, it was easy for me, too. Um, but I, Beast always plays a lot of different games and a lot of different variety. Yeah. Oh. Oh man! So do, I can go do, old do. and new. You games. can go old and new games. The games that you, you own. It? You own it. You, 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 yeah, if you own it, you can use it. It has to be a game you own. Yeah. Otherwise, it'd be hard for me because um, there is another game that could contend with it, but I don't have the game anymore, which would have been Perfect Dark. Um, oh yes, I. I it it, technically, I own it, but I own it digitally. But yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, go I got to I got to do it. I got to say it. Okay. My game would be simply because it is my number one game of all time. It would be Final Fantasy 7. Woo! Woo! Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Man, Final Fantasy getting love today. Yeah, it's getting less love. The story, the fa- I can go right back right now and go back and play it right now and play the whole playthrough. That game is amazing. Yeah, the golden the thing too. They have decent side Yeah, 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 yeah. That could see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the freaking chocobos. Breeding the chocobos was just a thing. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. That that was freaking awesome. That, man, making they finally getting a gold chocobo after all that. Oh man, that mm. was awesome. <laughs> yep, that was. You know what? I want to ask the chat this question. I wonder what game would they choose. Yeah, chat. Mm, just DB, Crew Dog, and whoever's in here. It, out of all the games you own, in which Crew Dog owns 200 and something games, just on the Xbox alone, which game could you play for the rest of your life? You don't have to answer now. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave the, the Jeopardy timer on until like the end of, end of the show. But out of all the games you own, what is one game you could play for the rest of your life? If you could only play one game. If you, uh, yeah. you could only play one game. Yep. 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 What game would that be? And you would have internet connection. Let me include that. You will have internet connection. So, 
Um, I had to ask that question too. If, if internet was a thing, because if internet wasn't a thing, it, it would be a whole different, whole different game for me. It wouldn't be Overwatch because Overwatch isn't fun without internet. Because Overwatch does <laughs> not have a story mode. So, which is kind of, that's probably the disappointing part. Fortnite, I knew, Fortnite oh, I knew he was going to go there. Mm-hmm. I can't. I'll tell you one game, one game that, and in, it's in, because I'm living on it. This game right here, because of all the content and so much that you can do, Monster Hunter is getting up there on my list. I no. was, I've been telling people it's literally in my top five of all time. No, you could you know you could have internet. I was saying it would be a different it would be different for me if I didn't have internet. Like what game I would choose if I didn't have internet. But yeah, internet, yes, internet is a thing. Internet is a thing. But yeah, I guess I, if I didn't have internet, what what would be the game I would choose? Metal oh. Gear Metal Gear Solid One. I love that game. That was my most favorite I used to play that game religiously yeah yeah i would play that game without even without a memory card and run it all the way through and 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 play and because when when i first owned the game it was like before i knew about like memory cards and stuff my mom just bought me a playstation one and metal gear solid and she didn't buy me a memory card so i literally had to beat that whole game without saving the game once that's OG stuff right there. Mm-hmm. And I did it. <laughs> and I did it. Remember um, trying not to turn off your system because you don't want to mess up your save? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Or having oh. corrupted save files. Oh, yeah. <laughs> corrupted memory cards. Oh, my Jesus. Man, that's old school there. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, But th- that was a nice little side quest, quest question. Um, my week was all right. I went pretty much my week was, uh, consisted of house hunting and playing, just playing some games. I've been, like I said, I've been playing, playing some PUBG and stuff. And I actually played some Call of Duty this week on stream. I didn't play the DLC though, ironically, um, forgot to download it. And then most of the people that I was playing with didn't have the DLC. PlayStation One was the worst. Yeah, they. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. <laughs> Ironically, though, OG still has a memory card that has me beating a kid 156 to zero on Madden. So that was yep, that. Got still got it. Was, it's amazing. Uh, we if we had a PlayStation, we could look it up right now. Me beating a kid 156 to zero on Madden. I don't. I forget which Madden it is, but it's like I think it's one of the. Ma- I think it was the last Madden we played, the one with Michael Vick on the cover. Um, um, I wonder that was O five or O six. Let me see. I might can get that answer for you. Yeah, that's when I used to hustle kids for money in Madden. Used to play for fifty dollars a game. But I didn't play him for money though, unfortunately. But he probably wouldn't have the money anyway. But I remember the kid very well. And yes, I had over, I think it was like 30 fumble. I, I made him fumble over 30 times. It was 2004. 2004, yes. That was the last man. I remember that one. I had that one. That was the last man I played competitively. And I, when I mean competitively, I don't mean like in tournaments, like in, 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 um, um, like in actual tournaments, I mean like house tournaments, like at Dwight's house or at my house. Um, so what's the topics for today? Um, we got, we got a bunch of different topics. We got, um, this call of duty issue that's going down that Bezoy wants to speak of. Um, we have, um, a little bit of leakage of what the new call of duty is going to be. Um, we also have com- confirmation on Redemption, Redemption, Red Dead Two, and then I have a story that I want to talk about about this kid in Japan. Um, basically, ended up being paralyzed from playing video games. Uh, I thought that was um, pretty pretty interesting. Um, and 
Yeah, and just wherever we go from there. And if you and if you want to know what we're gonna talk about, or if you want some backups, anything that we talk about now is in the gaming news um, uh, section in the Discord. So if you want to follow up, or if you want to check the facts, or if anything like that, you can go and check out the news in the in the Discord in the gaming news. Also, this is our first podcast being Discord partnered. As you see on Ayo. the Ayo, as you see underneath me, I didn't know where to put it. There's a little Discord partner logo right there um, in the in the in the thingy now. So now we are official. Um, ironically, I got partnered before I got the email, so that was pretty cool. I just now got the email yesterday. It's it's kind of funny, <laughs> but I still didn't get to get my hoodie. I'm kind of sad. I want my hoodie. Um, I it's supposed to. I I'm a hoodie. I will literally go to bed in a hoodie, like I don't care. <laughs> I, I love sleeping in hoodies, like and I wanted my hoodie. Like apparently there's a link that you're supposed to click that says give me my hoodie. Well, I go in the email. There's no link, um, for my hoodie, and I'm just like rip. Well, I'm just like I'm just gonna leave it alone because I feel bad because I've been bugging them um uh, you know enough about the email and stuff and. Cause I thought my email thing was broken, like I legitimately thought, because I still haven't got the email from Facebook to change my password, or to change my email so I can start streaming for Facebook, possibly on the weekends. For the partnership, over at Facebook, just to test it out, um, just for the podcast purposes. So I don't know. Um, we are also going to talk about well, I am, and probably this is probably going to be the first subject that uh, we could talk about since. Um, I know me and Bezoy could talk about this, but for podcast purposes, I did go check out Mr. Dr. Disrespect and his comeback. Uh, yeah, I checked it out. Uh, um, um, yeah. Um, so, um, I gotta ask you your thoughts. A <laughs> hundred, a hundred and sixty-one thousand people love drama. That's that's my answer to the no, no, for 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 no no let's get it right. As as when he dropped, it was three hundred and sixty. So much so many people that it actually crashed Twitch for a good minute. It broke Twitch. Um, it's it's crazy because legitimately, all he did was he changed his backdrops. Mm-hmm. He changed his alerts, and. That's pretty much it. It's the same old Dr. Disrespect. Um, That dude's getting, like, heck of money. I mean, you know, more power to him to pull off, like I said, more power to him to put off the WWE storyline like a boss. Me, personally, I couldn't do that. I would feel bad. I would feel wrong. Not only would I feel wrong or bad, but I would feel bad for putting my family in the light like that and using them whether it was true or not using them to rebrand myself whether it was true or not true or not to me is just very wrong um and very um very ironically you're gonna see the irony in this but i feel like it's very disrespectful um to his family but that is just me um so i watched it um I mean, pretty much, I mean, he kind of stunk at PUBG <laughs> by himself until he got, uh, what's his name in the mix. But, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's the same old, same old. I mean, it, the, if I look at it, if I look at it from a Vince McMahon's perspective, if I look at it from a Vince McMahon perspective, right, it's good for business. It's good for Twitch uh, because it's getting more people uh, back into Twitch that possibly maybe not be in in Twitch. So if I look at it from a Vince McMahon perspective, it's good for business. Um, But as from a personal standpoint, it kind of, you know, it just rubs me the wrong way because it's just like, even if it was wrong or right or fake or true, like I wouldn't put my family like that. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't care, you know, I, I wouldn't care about the views that much to where like I'd put my family into that into that uh, uh, what did what did Diesel say if the actuality issue was real his wife survived his uh, 
to say them the voice of prayers. No one fixes a broken relationship. Yeah, exactly. No, but nobody fixes a broken relationship that fast. Like, and you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, in my mind, right? This is what I'm thinking, right? Did you really fix your relationship, or were you actually working on rebuilding your stream the whole time? Because, like, see, like, I kind of understand, like, how he has it set up, like. See, you see how he has that, like, that, 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 that room, right? You know, the, the lounge that he has? Mm -hmm. and you know how it looks like, how he has, like, he's actually stepping in a room? Well, what yeah. that is, is just a room full of green. So, like, he just has, like, like, blocks full of green and stuff like that. So, like, he literally had to make a room like that. Like, he literally had to, like, do some stuff in his home or whatever to make that happen. You know what I'm saying? So, like, mm -hmm. he put time into that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, my mind, if this is real, how did you spend time putting that time into that and quote unquote not your marriage? So you know what I'm saying? And then like, and then my wife, right? Because my wife wanted to watch it too. Because you know my wife was like, look, I'm gonna show you. And it's funny. She's like, she's like, I bet you he's gonna do this. She goes, my wife goes, I bet you he's gonna bring his kid in, and I bet you he's gonna kiss his kid on camera. And not even 20 minutes later, he grabs his kid and kisses his kid on the camera. And she said, she said, it's just like, she said, it's just like, uh, like, you know, and she's like, of course he would do that, you know, because now he's trying to be quote unquote, the family man, da, 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 you know? And I was just like, wow. I was just like, wow. I was like, dang, like my wife be on point. I should have my wife on the show one day, but, uh, you know what, when I watched it, I I was more saddened by the fact that he had so many people in his thing after this. It was, and then I remembered how many people was in the games done quick for charity, and it wasn't even close how much more he was over something that is so positive. Right. That's what I was more sad about. Definitely, yeah. I was like, Wow, you guys are all here because of the drama from him. Right. He's known his wife. But these guys are raising money for cancer awareness. Yep. And y'all can't even get half of what he has. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. It, 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 like I said, it makes me sick. But, you know, and it's the positive guy always, always, the positive person always gets, gets, um, uh, how can I say this in a positive light? I always gets the light, the you know, the last. But I mean, it is what it is. Like you know, like it ain't gonna stop me from being me. You know, like right. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be me. You know what I mean? And you know, Twitch isn't gonna say nothing because Twitch likes it. You know what I mean? And yeah, they're making money. They're making money. They're <laughs> like you know, like they don't you know. I mean, it is what it is, and it's helping them like kick mixer in the butt you know what i'm saying because they're they don't want mixer to be a competitor um i in my opinion and this is kind of switching gears a little bit i don't think mixer can be a full competitor because mixer is not on playstation you know what i actually think though what on his comeback do you find it how ironic that it's right after facebook launched their stuff yeah mm -hmm. yeah 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 it's Facebook yeah. lost their stuff. They took some of Twitch streamers, and then he comes back. And then he comes back. Uh, yeah. yeah that's, uh, that's a little coincidental. I think Twitch and him was talking about that one. You got... Okay, I'm going to need you to stream, uh, homie. I'm going to need you to come on up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we, we, need you, we need you to hurry up on that process because we need you mm -hmm. back. Because Facebook might kick us in the butt. Because we're losing some of our big... We're losing some of our big content creators. Uh, I was, it was just like, hmm, that's... It's, it, it's, gonna, it's gonna be interesting to see who's gonna be the big guy in on Facebook, Facebook yeah. and who's gonna be the big guy on Mixer because right now Mixer does not have a big guy, like um, Mixer is just the same. What? Yo yo yo! Dynamic skills with that host man. Thank you so much, man. Uh, you know, like it, it's crazy because. Who who's gonna be the who's gonna be the big guy over at Mixer and who's gonna be the big guy over at Facebook? 
because right now the only the only big guy there is in streaming is really like um you know him yeah. 100 he was he was negotiating with Facebook and YouTube Twitch for <laughs> land he agrees TV agrees. Yeah, definitely. Going off. Definitely. Yep. I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. And and of course, I'm going to chime in with OG, even though he doesn't have much to say on this subject. But OG, what what are your process as an outsider looking in? Well, first and foremost, I, all I can say is I told you so. I, I said that it was just a <laughs> you know a scam to begin with, just to be popular and be a WWE thing, you know and all the timing, which I brought this up, there was so many things that happened in certain times with certain things happening, you know, with the whole after the video game, you know, awards, winning the award, doing that thing, now coming out right after the Facebook thing. I mean, like I said, everything is just being timed very specific. I mean, this is straight out strategy, right? I mean, he's got them strats, bro. Yeah, yeah. He got, strats, he got them strats. He does got them strats. <laughs> He got the strats for real. He got the strats, though. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, after that, I haven't watched him since, you know. Um, yeah, I, I no... just checked it out to see what, yeah. uh, you know, would there be, how could he come back? Would he be exactly the same Dr. Disrespect? Right. Or would he be more a different, you know, thing? And it was mostly the same. It was mostly the same, just different colors. He's, just, uh, he's, just, re he's just representing pink now. All right, Doctor. All right, Doctor. All right, Dynamic Man. Take it easy, bro. I hope you had a good stream, man. Appreciate you coming by with that host, bro. Much love. But man, yeah, got some strats though. I, I, do, I do agree with OG. He, he he got a nice little strat team over there. And I, and I, yeah, and I I think he got some. Though ironically enough, I think he got some more sponsors out of the deal too. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I think he, I think he's if he wasn't already, I didn't notice this, but I think he's sponsored by Razor now. But I didn't know he was sponsored with Razor beforehand. But if he is, I mean, he is now. So, YOLO. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> nah, that's it, but the main thing I thought about wasn't even him. It was about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That yeah. was the main thing I thought. I was like, wow. Yeah. That blew me away. Yep. And Able Gamers for that. And, and for Able Gamers for that sense. Because Able Gamers streams every day of the week almost, except for the weekends. And, you know, and you'd be surprised how many, like I said, the awareness of how much people don't under, don't know about the charity or don't understand the charity. You know? But, mm. I mean, yo, speaking of which. Able Gamers, I gotta bring this up. There's a blind guy over He's called The Blind Gamer, right? Guess what game he plays? Guess what game Overwatch? he plays? Nope. No, wait, 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 okay, okay. If you say guess what, it means, that means it must relate to something that I would know. Yeah, you would know it. You would know this game. You would know this game very well. Final Fantasy XIV. Nope! Oh. Nope. Um, hmm. Or Monster Hunter. Nope. It's not Monster Hunter either. It's a very, very impactful and very intense game. Just came out. Just came out. Dragon Ball Z? Yes. Yes. He plays what? Dragon Ball Z fighters, bro. Bro. Oh, man. Bro, he goes in, bro. Bro. Bro, oh my god, it is so sick, bro. Oh, awesome. bro, see, man, like, oh my god, like, that just, like, blows my mind. But anyways, but that's what I'm saying, like, like, a lot of people, like, a lot of people don't get to see that, or a lot of people don't know that, because, you know, a lot of that stuff goes under the radar. Bro, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna say bro, so how many times we're gonna say bro <laughs> in, this, in this stream today? I'm probably gonna say it a lot. Yo, I should probably have that as an emote, to be honest. Bro. <laughs> he was playing a fighting game when I followed him. He was... Yeah, I think... um, Yeah, he was featured on the front page. Yeah, when I... When I... When I um first checked him out, he was playing, I think, Street Fighter. Or one of the fighting games. I forget. 
Maybe no, it was Injustice too. He, he that's all he plays is fighting games. I don't know how he does it either, bro. It's amazing. And he's blind. Yes. That is amazing. That's amazing. That is amazing. Um, wow. and but he got the front page on uh, Twitch apparently. That's what uh, Diesel saying. That's what I was talking about. The, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I, that was just what I was talking about last week. Yeah. Um. That's what I was talking about. And uh, since we're all here, I might as well. I've already brought this up to to Bezoid, um, OG. But I'm thinking, you know, how we were talking about how like the affiliated streamers get no love, right? Sure. Okay, well, I was thinking this. I was thinking maybe like one episode of the month that we feature an affiliated streamer and have them come on the show and talk with them and have them promote their channel and so forth and so forth. Um, you know, because we said that there's nothing on Twitch that promotes the affiliated streamer, right? Well, why not we be that outlet? Why not we do it? Uh, hey, I'm we could, we could do it. We, yeah. could, we could do it. I mean, it's, I mean, pretty much. We can just, you know, we can sit down and think about who we want to bring in. And uh, he said, "Okay, you I'm know, coming." <laughs> Not right now. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna have, we gonna plan it and have you come in. We may even have you on camera uh, to where you're like showing the video, um, so people can actually see who you are, and so forth and so forth. But if you want to be the first person, uh, that would be cool. Uh, you like the idea? I'm just like, you know, we're sitting here talking about like nobody's doing it on Twitch. Well, why can't we? We're a pod, we? we're a podcast. Um, I say we do it. I'm uh, down with it. I'm down with it yeah. too. I'm down with it too. And we could also Crew do. Yeah. Crew dot. When we bring you on, you gotta show that clip that that you beat like four people to win the game in the end. Oh, I would love for people to see that clip. Yeah, and we could use we could use the Discord video. Um, that way you can do a uh, screen share and you can show the video and that way we don't have to do all these screen transitions. Uh, you see, I'm promoting discord at the same time. Let's go. <laughs> um, but, uh, definitely. So that's, that's going to be an idea and probably that's going to be a thing. Um, again, if you're not a part of the, uh, um, if you're not a part of the discord, go ahead and look for it. Um, the server now has got its own link. It's handy kill cam, of course. Uh, and then my my friend, my friend code is just all sevens. Uh, when you when you get when you get to be partnered in Discord, you get to make your custom uh, link and your custom friend code, which is pretty freaking cool. Uh, so <laughs> ironic. Discord promotion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about there. And if whoever wants to go next, go ahead and go next. But uh, I'm done. Um, I'm, I'll go ahead and go. All right. Um, I'm actually kind of excited to bring this up because uh, one of my favorite YouTube channels finally made a video. He doesn't make videos as often as he used to, but uh, I've got a little bit of history for you guys. Uh oh. Um, the oh. gaming historian. Shout outs to him. Now. Uh, I'm not going to go over the entire story. I strongly suggest y'all go to YouTube and just watch it because it's a really interesting story. But uh, he finally made a story, and he's been kind of talking about doing this for a while, but he talked about the history of Tetris. Ooh. Now, some people might think, okay, what's interesting about that? Like, honestly, like, I was watching it just because I was happy to see that he finally made a video, but there is so much drama in the gaming industry that he was able to bring out that I was just like, dang, like people went through crap to get their games out there to, to jump on the, on the bandwagon, things like that. Um, and Tetris is one of those games that almost caused an international incident because for those who don't know, that's a game that was originally from, uh, Russia. I think it was like Russia. Right. So, um, and so I'm going to be kind of shorting, shorthanding the story. Uh -oh. Okay. So you're not going to get the whole thing. But um, basically, um, this guy who was a programmer um, in Russia were, was making fun games on the side. And he made, like, different, like, you know, ghetto versions of Tetris because, you know, it wasn't a thing yet. Um, and he wasn't even really in, had any kind of intention of making money off of it. It was just something for him and his, you know, his bros to play, like, you know, when they had a little bit of time. Well, apparently, news spread about this game, and other people started jumping on it, and then some people had the bright idea to say, hey, I want to buy this idea from you. 
Uh, and then that's where kind of the, the war begins. Like, the, and again, I'm not going to go into the detail. There's a whole lot, but there was a lot of kind of uh, people going around other people to try to figure out who's going to claim this game. Uh, as a matter of fact, Nintendo and Atari went at it back and forth with lawsuits. And of course, you know, Nintendo having um, the best lawyer ever for video games ended up winning. And Nintendo won the console rights um, and handheld rights to Tetris, whereas I think another company got the arcade right. Um, oh, Howard Lincoln is the lawyer, by the way, uh, that I've been bragging about that when they used to represent Nintendo. He's now retired, but he was the reason that Nintendo's been able to beat Sega and everybody else because when it comes to law, like he's the man, he makes, he, he makes things happen. But yeah, Nintendo and Atari went at it hardcore with Nintendo winning because apparently Atari tried to claim that Nintendo stole their idea, but you know, or, or stole the patent from them, but Nintendo didn't. Um, and then, of course, the guy who actually created the game, after all this fighting was going on back and forth, got no money out of it. <laughs> Dang. But what happened was, is there's this other guy um, who also worked for Nintendo, and this just proves how great of a company Nintendo, the people that work for Nintendo are. Uh, there was a guy um, who's been in quite a few of the, of the stories as well as for Nintendo. Um, he had met up with the guy at one time just to kind of talk about it because this guy from Nintendo flew to, well, first off, he tried to talk with the guys that had the arcade rides, but they kept blowing them off. He right. said, screw this. I'm going to go straight to the headquarters, talk to the Russia. And he had a hard time. Like, he, he didn't know any Russian. Like, he literally flew there just himself and was trying to like play games to get with people but nobody was really talking to him much and he finally just went to the office met with the owner they had a meeting uh so that's how things got started but he also bumped into the original creator just to say hey you know how did you figure this out you know what are the ins and outs and then they became good friends well after nintendo ended up winning the console rights to tetris he actually partnered with the actual creator of tetris and uh, started a company with them called uh, Tetris something. I forgot what it's called, but there's an actual Tetris uh, company now. And he now is finally getting royalties from the game he created that everybody else tried to steal from him. Yeah, because it, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, like a, Diesel was saying, there's very many versions of Tetris right now. And she was even yeah. saying that Dr. Mario was actually like really close to Tetris too. You know, it would have been yeah. interesting to see what if Mario would or what if what if Nintendo would have lost that war, and you would have seen Tetris on Atari? Because you know, if you think about it, Tetris was a very Atari-like game almost. Yeah, um, it'd have been interesting to That's see. That's why Atari was trying to jump on that because Atari was like, "I want to make money off of this." But um, and again, there's a lot more that's really interesting about it. I just don't want to spoil it. That and I can't remember. It well, all. if you uh, so if you send me the just watch it. if you send me the link, I'll put I'll post it in the Discord. So if you yeah. want if you want to watch the video, you got you got to join the Discord. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or you can look it up for yourself. You can look it up for yourself. But if you want to be lazy and not look it up for yourself, you got to join the Discord. Um, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> definitely. It's a really legit story. It really is. Like you know, I'm not giving it enough praise right now. Like it, it is a lot of like back and forth about it. But yeah, it, it's really legit how Tetris became a thing and who ended up owning it and the fights that went. Like I said, Nintendo went to war with everyone. Went to war with Atari about it, and then of course with all the other things that happened in the past, they went to war with Sega. And look, Nintendo's the only one still standing as a, as a console creator of all oh. those. Yeah, I yeah, uh, yeah. T uh, uh, Atari is only just like a uh, a gaming, like they just make games. Discord, I gotta make the link. I gotta make the link. My bad. I gotta make the command. I gotta make the command. But it it automatically rolls. You guys will see it. Um, you guys will see it for those that don't see it. Bezoy, how long ago was the Four piece I got. How long ago was it? He's asking. Oh man, I say about about two, about a month or two. About a month or two, he said. Well, you can hear him. What am I? Why am I repeating it? Uh, <laughs> uh, I know, I know. You was trying to help me, Diesel. It was, when, it was around the time you first started playing. Um, 
first started playing um, Fortnite for dogs. I appreciated this. I appreciated Diesel. It's my bad. I'm slacking. Uh, I'm so pleased that Doctor Disrespect. <laughs> I'm so pleased that the Doctor Disrespect this the disrespect discussion today did not cause any drama uh, uh, amongst our family. No, cause we. I think we were pretty much on the same level of. Doctor disrespect when it comes to that. I think we understand that it was for entertainment purposes, and you know, I may not agree with it because I wouldn't put my family like that. I wouldn't put my family in the light, but I think we're pretty much all on the same page. Even in the chat, I think we're all pretty much on the same page when it comes to that. I mean, it is what it is, you know. And and even people who have different you know ideas about that, even if you think differently from what you know. Uh, handy or OG or how, how I think, you know, you're not wrong for the way you think. Right, exactly. Everybody yeah. got their own opinion on how they feel about that situation. Right. Like, an opinion does not mean you're right or wrong. An opinion is is just in a thought. You know what I mean? Like, an opinion is never a fact. But the problem with, with social media and internet is that the opinion somehow gets turned into fact and it turns into a fence. And then it causes a big uproar, and then people get all crazy over an opinion. Um, you know, just like I feel like, in my opinion, I like I like PUBG over Fortnite, but that's an opinion. <laughs> I, I I I love PUBG. You know. But see, I I think I know why. I think your opinion is based on the fact that you like more slower pace. Right. I can handle a slower pace of a game. Yeah. So, it, yeah. I, I understand why you would like, even though I choose Fortnite over PUBG, I understand why you would choose PUBG over Fortnite. It's right. Just, yeah, it's, it's more slower paced, which gives you a chance to think, give you a chance to be in control of what's going on. Right, exactly. I can actually think and process and, and sometimes dominate, and that's what I like. I don't like playing a game that I can't like see myself okay, if I continue to, 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 to try, that I can continue to dominate. I'm not saying that I can't. In Fortnite, I know I can, but it just, like, it just frustrates me. Fortnite just frustrates me in a whole other way. Some people will sell their soul to make their, the dollar that, yeah, exactly. And that's something <laughs> I will never do. Like, I, you couldn't, even if Optic, even if Optic came to me right now and said, look, if you sell your soul, you could be a part of the Optic team, Optic stream team. And you know, be endorsed by nope, nope. I I I will always be me for who I am, and I can't speak for anybody else. But I know that about me. Like I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna give thanks to God. I'm always gonna be positive, you know, as much as I can. If I know, like if I know I'm having a bad day and I can't be positive, then that's the day that I don't stream. You know what I mean? Because I'm not gonna be somebody that I'm not. Like. The yesterday, for some reason, my sub count broke, and so my sub count said I had zero subs. Well, I didn't want to miss trade, miss, miss, uh, what's the word? Miss Patr no, I can't think of the word, but I didn't want to like seem like I was lying to people and saying that I have no subs, and then somebody sub thinking that I have no subs, and then they come to find out that I have like some many subs, you know what I mean? So I just turned my sub count off. Because I just don't, don't want to mislead nobody. Yeah, exactly. I don't like misleading nobody. I like just being me. You either here for me or you're not. You know, um, it's just how it is. It's just how it is. Um, Bezoid, you got a story you want to discuss? Is this where yes. you want to bring up your big topic? Yeah, I'll bring that up. But before, because it's not that positive. It's it's actually a bit crazy. But before that, I am going to get some positive news. Nice. Um. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of rumors and hints, and actually I've been seeing a couple leaks. I'm going to keep um, keep watch on this, but I think everybody in the chat and you, uh, Handy, will probably be like, oh, this is some news. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 will be the next Call of Duty game. Oh, yes. Out. That's what I was going to – yep, I was going to talk about that. Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, they haven't been announced yet, but – it's a lot of leaks and a lot of things out there that's 
pointing to it, and even a couple of uh, uh, articles and stuff that's saying that is. Yep, it's it, it's going to be black out for. Actually, there's an article in the Discord right now. Um, uh, here's something that I thought was very interesting, and this is something that OG can relate to. Um, they're actually going to be releasing the next Call of Duty. Uh, this has been leaked. They're gonna release it on the Switch. Whoa! <laughs> I find welcome to the Kill Camp Squad, where we chill and we kill and we have no drama. Appreciate you. Oh, it's Whoa Daffy. My bad. No, I was just guessing. I was just reading. Uh, yeah, well, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, people make their names nowadays. I don't yeah. even know. So. That's why I'm like, like, like you can't help it, but accidentally butch, butcher people's names the way they mm-hmm. name. You can't help it, you know. It's just how it is, and you know, especially when you get all hype and stuff. But, but um, definitely, um, yes, they are going to be releasing the new Call of Duty on the Switch apparently, and it's. Uh, I mean, that's just further proving that Nintendo is uh, still strong. Uh, even in the shooters, because, you know, why not have it? And know, they're good at everything else, why not have a good shooter? And apparently the company that is porting the the game into the Switch is very familiar with Call of Duty. So it's not going to be, supposedly, it's not going to be a very unfamiliar experience. And they also confirmed that when it's being ported to the Switch, that it's going to have um, motion controls. So it'll be very interesting to see what they add on the Switch version. Um, I don't know. Well, on to the, um, the big news that I did my homework for. Awesome. Um, this goes back in handy. You're probably going to remember some of the things I'm going to talk about. Um, do you remember MLG Dallas? Yes. Do yes. you remember there was, a, um, there was an incident there? Where it was a threat called in a bomb threat, right? And evacuated, right? Um, Twice, they evacuated some people, right? Well, um, back in the end of December, right after Christmas, um, there were um, some COD League games going on, and some teammates got into a a, a, a debate. Well, they got into an argument because. And this was over a dollar fifty, a dollar fifty bet. Right. They bet a dollar fifty. They lost, and one guy got upset at the other one because he team killed him. By right. Mistake. Right. And um, they went back and forth arguing back and forth, and um, one guy said that he will have the other guy swatted. Right. I remember um, this. I remember. I talked about it on the podcast. I think it was the podcast you went there, but I remember this. Go ahead. Yes. Well, the the two um, players were Miracle and Bait. Do you remember that? Right. Well, um, after that, Miracle went to Twitter and he posted um, he posted um, uh, his address and stuff, saying that nothing was going to happen to him. Right. Um, Bait then took that address. And gave it to the swatter guy, right? The swatter guy, his name is Swatastic. Mm-hmm. Swatastic then took that and he went, you know, going at Miracle. He went, you know, and messaged him and they went back and forth. He was asking him, Do you think, you know, basically he was wanting uh, Miracle to challenge him to swat him. Right. He was basically, yeah. Mm hmm. He's flexing. Miracle swatted. I mean, Miracle did challenge him. He swatted him. Right. And what he did was when Miracle put the address, Miracle put a fake address. Now, right. the address that the guy Swatastic swatted was a home that they had nothing to do with the game whatsoever. It had um, to, to the Call of Duty game. The No players was there. Not, it was just... A father, his two kids, he had a family, basically. Right. The police got there, shot the man dead. Yep, he's dead. Yep. Um, it- now, 
they they started a GoFundMe account. I should have got that. Um, I should have got that for the family. Right. Okay. And I believe, and I believe, um, because I, I did I did report on this before, and I, mm-hmm. um, but I believe now because my wife was um my wife has been doing research on it too. I believe now the both the Swatastic and the cop are both in trouble. Um, yeah, I, I was just about uh, to get to that. Yep, you can go ahead. Yeah, um, they they found out that because the guy actually it was like another news station. Mm-hmm. He got interviewed before the cops even caught up to the guy, and the guy was um the the guy interviewing him asked him was he remorseful and everything, and he was really being like. Um, <laughs> He was really trying to divert the blame right. of what's going on. And um, afterwards, the next day, he got caught. He he went to jail, and they found out that he was the same guy who did Dallas. The bomb threat in mm-hmm. Dallas. He also did, uh, there was another one he did too. But um, he, 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 he said that, because he was, um, he actually admitted that he did Dallas. Uh, mm-hmm. For those, if you, I don't know if you watch Drama Alert on Keemstar, um, but he yeah. had, uh, Keemstar actually in- interviewed him. Um, yep, that was the uh, one. Yeah, yeah, yep. And he just said straight up, "Look, I did Dallas, you know what I mean." And he did all these things. Um, yeah, like it's it's crazy. Um, it's really really crazy that that happened. I mean, but there's really, unfortunately, there's not really much that can be done. Like as far as as far as like, there's no prevention. Like a police officer is always gonna have to check. Just like if you call nine one one right now and you hang up, the cops are gonna come. There's no, there's no getting around that, right? So like, it sucks. And you know, like I said in the in the episode that we that we first addressed this, I mean, yes, it sucked that the cop did it, and yes, but. I understand possibly how it happened because the age that we live in now with everything going on, a lot of cops are on edge these days. Um, that's not giving him an excuse for, um, for, for, for him to be, you know, for that man to shoot him. But, you know, this is why I say when you, I feel like there needs to be more of, of, of help. For police officers, especially right now in this day, as far as like mental, mental help, uh, mental health, mental support, because, you know, all this stuff with the media, all this stuff with everything, like it weighs on a person, you know, it, 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 it weighs on a person. It gets people on edge and sometimes they're just not thinking clearly. And unfortunately, because that officer wasn't thinking clearly, he, in, he innocently shot somebody and that person lost his life and you know it's it was a prank and it shouldn't even be considered a prank it's it's very um disrespectful very wrong um nobody should ever do that and it was it was bad because when when this first first stuff when i first learned about swatting like when i first started doing twitch i I told my wife i was like something bad's gonna happen here because you can't tell me is that a cop is like not gonna be like adrenaline pumping, thinking that they're gonna be entering in a situation and not address it in a uh, volunt in a voluntary manner, thinking that they're threatened, you know? Um, and yeah, this is what happened. Um, my, my my thing with that is, I, I if you gotta shoot somebody, shoot them in a the leg or something, make them go down. Don't end the life. right, right. Right, definitely. Like I don't understand what made him I, think. I guarantee you that man would have rather got shot in the leg than be dead now. Right. You know, ah, I, I got shot in the leg. Uh, you guys are wrong, but at least I'm still here. Yeah. But it just, oh man, that's. And then I did you hear the video of him calling the police? No. Nah. The video is out now where he called the the nine one one, and. If you listen to it, you can understand how the cops would be adrenaline. Because he said, in the when he called the nine one one, he said that he shot his dad in the head, and he still had the gun, 
and he had it on his mom and his brother. Right. And he had them in a closet, and he was saying he was going to put um, gasoline around the house and burn the house. Wow. So he really made it, you know, to where the police were going to be more aggressive. aggressive right. They're worried about this house about to be burnt with people in there. Right. DB said, DB, DB said a lot of big streamers make arrangements with the local police to call before some uh, before they come and they will be happy to meet with them outside. Yeah, I, I, yeah uh, that, that happened with go ahead. Go ahead. That's that's a good thing there. That, that's, that, that's at least something to help towards that. Because actually, I think Midnight got raided once and that's what they did with her. They're like, hey, uh, you know, somebody's calling threats and da-da. and they called her, and she was like, yeah, no, it's fake. And then like they met with her outside. They started to do the search and everything like that. But, um, yeah, but I mean, still though, I mean, what 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 is there for like somebody like me? You know what I mean? You wow. know, you know what I mean? And it's like I've been raided before, <laughs> like twice, but it wasn't it wasn't because of like. Fake stuff. It was real stuff. You know what I mean? And so I understand, like, like when 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 there's aggression like that, you just got to just chill out. And it's just like, you know, that's just not something to play with. And it's unfortunate that, you know, that happened. And Diesel Girl said in Wisconsin, if, if the officers killed an innocent victim, the, the swatter... Gets what? Gets the man manslaughter charge if, if it upsets me because it makes the police officer not accountable for their actions. I agree. I, I agree. agree. I, uh, yeah, I, uh, he should be accountable. I just wish, like I said, if you're going to shoot and because you're so aggressive, just aim lower, man. Don't kill somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot him in the arm or something. Something that can be healed back. But just don't. And take, there's no need to take somebody life. Definitely, definitely. And I, and when they raid, when they when they when the police came, they took out the family members. They took it was a mom and a sister. Mm. They took them out. Then went in, and they saw the guy and shot him. I'm like, why didn't you take him out too? Right. Why did you immediately right. shoot? Right. Right, it just and, just made no sense. I mean, because they obviously had no idea why you were there, so because they didn't know anything about the squad, they had nothing to do with the Call of Duty game itself. So why would they think police is going to be coming to the door? My question is, my question is, okay, common sense, right? If you're going inside to make people to to make people like leave or evacuate, you already going inside of an in a, in a situation. You should be able to address the the situation and be like, okay, this is a non voluntary, a non violent situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? That okay. First initial knockdown when you seeing people shot, that means yeah. You know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When you already and then like okay, and then like you already like so, like why are you not putting two and two together? You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you know, but I mean, it's crazy. I, I thought it was a different situation. I didn't know it was the SWAT situation. Yeah, we talked about this. I think we, either you either you was gone or Dwight or OG was gone. One of y'all was gone and, and we were discussing this with, with the duo. I don't remember who it was, but we discussed it before. But Yeah, we, I was here because yeah. remember, um, we had talked about how our our mutual friend at the time or friendish has slotted my my place. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah, with us, and you end up kicking his ass. Oh yeah! And, I like literally yeah. beat the sh- and then oh. all of a sudden, and this was this was like back in the nineties before like the term swatting was a thing. But all of a sudden, like me and like me, Handy, and like maybe four or five other people are chilling playing video games, and all of a sudden there's like seven eight police officers raiding my house. You know. Mm-hmm. Because of whatever oh. that guy ended up saying after you know, we kicked him out. And I had to explain to him that the guy was being a nuisance and I had to kick him out. And this is the result. Now, thankfully, nothing happened to nobody. And well, they ended up, you know, charging the other guy. But, you know. Yeah. And and I, I ended up beating, like, the living crap out of the dude. Because this was back when Handy was, like, a freaking 
cannon. Like you mess with my boys, you mess with you mess with my 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 family. Like I was going off, and I literally beat the crap out of him. And the funny thing was, it's funny. After I beat the crap out of him, he called the cops, telling them that I beat the crap out of him, tried to get me like arrested for assault. And then so I told the cops, I was like, look, this is why I did it because. Of and the cop was like, well, he, the guy the guy told him like, you deserve to get the shit beat out of you. He's like, I ain't doing nothing to him. <laughs> and, 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 and then like they made him leave like so that's how that happened but i literally beat yeah. the crap out of that dude like because like we had we had kids we had um we had matt's little sister i think she was like what 10 at the time remember i don't remember yeah yeah like um she was young and that's what pissed that's what made me mad because you know even back then like a cop could have like tripped thinking something that he saw something and like you know could have shot could have shot that little girl or whatever and i was i was mad like i literally like beat the crap out of that dude and yeah it was it was not it was not cool at all i was pissed it was back it was definitely back in 90 it was like i think it was like 90 i think it was after the flood right or was it before yeah it was like 99 yeah it was like 99 yeah so I, that's uh, I don't play with that stuff, man. Like, you know, because cops are human too. Like, people think that cops like are these like people that are just don't have human instincts, but cops make human instincts just as a, as we all do because we're all humans. So you know, Handy was full, um, full on gang. Yeah, you 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 don't even you don't, you don't even want to know. Diesel, you don't even want to know. I used to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was pretty crazy back in the day. Thank God Jesus saved me, cause, yeah, we would not be here. Um, definitely. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy back. But yeah, we definitely talked about this. Um, yeah. It was like I think it was like episode fifty-five, fifty-five or fifty-four. But that's definitely interesting. Definitely. Yeah. Interesting. Look, made me look go again. Like, wow, here we go, man. It's just the stuff out here, man. Just, just don't make any sense sometimes. It's, 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 but it's because, again, it's because again, controversy, negativity, gets more ratings. It gets more views. Yeah. Yep. Not well, trying um, to judge any police. Uh, not to judge anybody. Police involved shootings in any way. But you can not imagine the circumstances of thoughts of a police officer in any of their situation. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, you know, like, you think, like, okay, so, like, if they're being threatened, like, if they know they're entering a threat call, the first thing they're going to watch is the hands, right? So, like... They, if they see something come like from their hands, they're gonna some might automatically think, "Oh, that's a gun." Like I'm just saying, like mistakes are made. We're all humans. We all make mistakes, and you know, it's just like you know, people thinking it's the same thing when people think like if you're in the ministry or whatever, like you're not to make a mistake, or if you're the president, like you're not to make a mistake. Like it's I'm just saying in 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 in, in reality, people think because you are in office or you're an officer of some sort like you automatically just lose your your human mentality to make mistakes like we all make mistakes every day and I, i'm not trying to take away from that person and saying what he did was wasn't wrong i'm just saying unfortunately it was a very bad miscall misjudgment on his part you know and unfortunately it just happens because we're you know life it just it sucks but it happens, you know, and it's it's hard, but it's just something that we have to deal with sometimes yeah. as humans. My, my thing is I understand what you're saying, but it's that's your job. Right. That's what you do for a living. Right. So that that's a mistake that 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 I can't just immediately throw away. You know, say people do make mistakes, but that's what you do for a living. Uh, like this, Handy, what do you do for a living? You stream. Right. You know, some of the unwritten rules of streaming you won't do because you know in your job that's not what you go for. Right. 
so and the, yeah we can't understand some people can't imagine what goes through uh, a, a police officer's head but that's what you're paid to do you're paid to be a police officer so when you come into these situations you already have some type of um what was where the one you uh, I want to say this right. You you gotta have some type of uh, um, cannot the word is the word is escaping. You have to have some kind of like awareness. Yeah, I want to say when but it's it's a different word that I need to use for that sentence. But that's what you went. That's what you know. It's not like you just police officer on Thursday and Friday. This no. is something you you you, you live you for you. Long you it's even live it, time. yeah. You live it. You live it when you live it when you're not even living it. Like you know, that's probably a better word. Training, yeah, it, yeah. They should be trained for this type of situation. Well, and I also think, and this, and this is, and 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 and, and hear me out. I feel like there needs to be strong, um, stronger mental screening as far as that kind of stuff. Agreed. Because, totally agree. because okay, who's to say? Who's to say? Um, you know, that they don't have a, and I'm just, I'm just speaking from the outside in, like, who's to say that they're not getting a PTSD episode? You know what I mean? Sure. Who's to say that they're not triggered by something and they just, they just go nuts. I mean, think about what they see every day. I mean, it's, it, it might be easy for us because we don't see it, but think about what they see and do it every day. It's just as much as somebody going like living as a soldier every day in the battlefield it's the same thing as a police officer it's just more it's just i don't know how to explain it but it's just a different type of battlefield but a battlefield is a battlefield you're going to see casualties you're going to see things and so at some point there needs to be a stronger mental health screening or mental health awareness because just as just as it weighs on a soldier, it weighs on a police officer. Just as it weighs on a police officer, it weighs on a first responder when it comes to me, um to medical. When it weighs on a, on a, on a fire department, you know, and that and and that's just how I feel. The um, <sighs> some uh, go ahead and read that. Um, DB saying a lot. Okay. Um. Okay, okay. Trying to see I'm gonna read the first one and then read the second one. The first one he said was, "I may be wrong, but this gentleman, I believe, was shot in the back as well." So knowing the context of the original call, when this man opened the door and turned to run, you have to think he was running towards a weapon. And um, he was saying, "This is from officer screaming, screamed at Flint to put his hands in the air." But Livingston said the 20-year-old father of two young boys moved the hand towards his waistband. An officer, fearing Finch was reaching for a gun, fired a single shot. Finch died minutes later in the police report. Yeah. But, yeah, but I mean, and, and that's, what, that's just what I'm saying. I feel like there needs to be more mental awareness. Like, I have a good friend, right? Like, I have a really good, well, I wouldn't say... He's not like, okay, he's more, he's, he's a friend, but I have a friend that really wants to be a cop, right? OG, you know who I'm talking about. Um, um, yeah, I do. Okay. As much as I expect, I, I love his passion for, to be a cop. Like I respect his passion to be a cop mentally, mentally because of his, his temper mentally because of his, his quick to just react and not think. I always tell him I don't think being a cop is a good thing for you because mentally you just you're just not there. Um and like I'm always afraid that he's going to be that one person that accidentally shoots somebody reaching for his wallet. You know, and that's and 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 you know, I may be a bad friend for saying that. I may be a bad friend to, for you know being that, but I I'm a true friend. If I see something, and I'm going to be real with you. And and I told him that. You know what I mean because that's, you know, that's life and death between that's that's life and death on your life and that's life and death on somebody else's life, you know, and, <clears throat> you know, and, and that's what I'm saying. It takes, you know, I feel like there needs to be some kind of emplacement to where like they'll they'll be like, you know what, 
no like mentally yeah i think you need to maybe not do that you know what i mean and i just feel like there just need to be more mental screening when it comes to you know those kind of jobs and uh i actually have a friend you've met him once i believe i think he's on your facebook as well uh another guy named Kyle. i'm gonna say his last name because i don't want to get him in fucking trouble yeah i know him um, yeah i know him so he is now a police officer but he didn't do it like right away it was something that we had discussed a long time ago and at the time he wasn't in a, you know in a good state so he prolonged joining uh right. to, to help but to fix himself which thankfully he did through years he he did what he had to do to fix his problems and then he joined the uh, armed forces or i'm sorry the police academy mm, right uh he passed and he's now actually part of you know a, a local police department i'm not going to say specifics but right um but yeah i mean there are some people that are responsible enough to say look i got to work out my issues before I join, and thankfully I have a friend who was smart enough to do that. He went through his situation, dealt with it, and then joined. And now he's a good, he's a con- good contributing member to society, you know. And that's what everybody needs to do. They need to before they join, whether it be law enforcement, whether it be the military, whatever it might be. You need to make sure that like you yourself is mentally somewhat prepared for it. All right. Uh, you know, leave your drama at the door, you know, get deal with it before enjoying something and putting others at risk, you know? Right. Because like I always say, you're not, you're not hurting, you're not only hurting the other person's life, you're hurting yourself because, you know, think about it. Like it, that, it changes, it changes yeah. somebody. Hellboy and, said they do run mental health screenings for military and to be a COO. That's cool. Yeah. I, I know. I know about the military because I remember my friend, Chris, when he did his first deployment, um, he came back and he didn't pass his mental screening and they didn't let him go back for a while. But now he's all good. But, you know, that's what I'm saying. There needs to be the same. There needs to be the same kind of screening when it comes to police officers, because it's still the same. It's still the same thing. Uh, police training needs to be more, uh, more to be a method of made more. Uh, uniform yeah I, I agree I agree I agree you know totally agree but I guess we'll get back into the gaming now and then yeah. we uh, for, we'll, for those yeah. who just for those who just recently you know came into the stream that was brought up because um, a person was killed between the person was killed because somebody bet over a call of duty game they bet a dollar fifty on a Call of Duty game. One chose to swat the other, and the person who had nothing to do with it was murdered. Right, and we've we've discussed it before, but I, I guess a viewer missed on it, and so we brought they it up asked, again. Yeah, right. they asked us to um, bring it up, and we did. We need to spend much more time on training. The yeah, I, I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. We we do, I mean, there's got to be training and, you know, and a lot of things um as far as, you know, when it comes to police and stuff like that because especially the way <coughs> especially the way the world is changing and and we are changing. A lot of people just don't know how to adapt to the change and they're just like thrown into it. And so it gets a little crazy. And a lot of times these these decisions to be cops in military a lot of times they're not full thought decisions they're just emotional decisions because they see something happening and they don't really fully think it through and then they jump in and they're like oh crap this is a big mental load but yeah um what, what's the next thing i want to get into so a next discussion i want to get into is um I'm going to bring up something, and this is just for just for topic of discussion. There's really no article on this, but I was in a, a streamer's um, stream the other day, yesterday in fact, and there, there, and this is just a question for streamers and for content creators. What to do when you are not filling the top games that, that, that are being streamed right now? Because I was in a, I was in a streamer's stream yesterday. And, you know, they're a well-known streamer. I'm not going to put them on blast or whatever. But what's, what do you do, like, when you're not filling games like Fortnite, 
feeling games like PUBG, and you're you're feeling you like a game, but you just <laughs> you're just not you're just not feeling it. Like what I know what I would do, but just just for just for debatable just for debatable sur- purposes, what do you do? Do you go back to your roots? Do you go back to your to a game you love? Like what are, what are some things you you feel that should be done? So this is a streaming topic here. Streaming topic, YouTube create YouTube content. It could be oh, anything. Content. Yeah, yeah, let's say content creation. Topic. Right, right, right. Um, DB, um, DB. I was trying to read this before you say. Oh, go ahead. You'll have to do what you enjoy. If you're not enjoying what you are doing, your drive will continue doing and drive to continue what you're doing will will fade fast. Right. Exactly. Um, Oh, gee, would you like to answer first, or would you like me to go first? Um, I mean, since you kind of, you know, threw me under the bus earlier, made me answer first on another part. So okay. Um, what what you should do? Um, first, like he said, you should play games that you enjoy. Because if you sit there and play a game that you don't enjoy, right. it's gonna show right. when you're streaming it. And, it's right. Definitely gonna it's no way you can hide it. And it's a it's a streamer I, I bring up quite often that I feel as though um he's the total opposite and sometimes it hurts him. Yo, 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 Just TV, thank you for that host, man. What is up there? Jordan, what's good, man? Go ahead. Sorry. My thing is if it's nothing that that is new, that's newer out there, um, I would play the, uh, what I want to play. Right. Um, if Street Fighter came out with a new Street Fighter and I didn't enjoy that Street Fighter, I'm not going to stream that Street Fighter. Right. I would rather stream something like Dragon Ball Fighters, which I do enjoy. You right. You know what I'm saying? So, um, the, thing, the thing that I think you should, a person should do, first of all, is find their niche game. Their game that is kind of new, but it's what you want to do. And is what the the people want to see, and if you can take those three things and then with your great you know entertainment and your great gameplay, you mix that all together, you'll find your game. Um, and even if it even if that game starts to get a little time behind it, people are still gonna come and see. Well, I, I want to see what Handy does today on this game, you know. What's the story behind the game? You know, he what he's doing today. So, I believe you should stream what you want to play. All but right, you gotta go. keep an eye on what the, they want to see. Right, 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 right. Um, DB, I don't know, man. You're gonna have to. I'm trying to get her in the Discord, man, so she could be all, be all dropping the knowledge in there. And Diesel girl, <laughs> and we will keep you in prayer. I hope everything is okay. Yeah, that's how I am. Like. Like, okay, like, I don't mind Fortnite. I don't mind Fortnite. I like Fortnite. But sometimes Fortnite gets me agitated, like, really agitated. It makes me somebody that I'm not. So that's why I tend to play Fortnite, like, maybe once a week. I've had said that I'm going to try and play Fortnite maybe twice a week, maybe. I don't know how because, you know, literally my schedule is full. But that's how I, I, I think, that's how I think it should be anyway. I think you should only stream games that you enjoy. Like, I don't understand. Like, like I was perplexed when when I was, like, in this streamer's stream the other day. And, like, they were, like, really, like, like, they were really, like, well, maybe I should just stream what I want to play. And I'm, like, why are you even, like, debating this with yourself? You know what I mean? And I don't know. It's, like... You know, it's like, you got it. like, you have to understand that you, your audience will grow when you enjoy yourself and when you enjoy what you're doing and when you are yourself. And because, let me tell you this, when you are having fun and you are enjoying yourself and you are enjoying the game that you are playing, you'll want to connect with your audience. The reason why, the reason why, like the streamer that we were talking about before, has plateaued. You want to know why this person has plateaued? Because he has no way of connecting with their audience. Um, 
You know what I mean? There's just ah, you bring it back some old stuff there. I see you. Yeah, you see, there's no, there's no, there's no connection. Uh, entertainment can play, entertainers can play anything and do well. The similar or not level streamers, my uh, mid level streamers seem to be focused on around uh, niche games that are good at and. Yeah, and see, like me, like I don't care, like it, I, I, like I don't care about the numbers. The only thing I care about is like a game that's gonna put me in a bad mood. Because if I'm in a bad mood, if I'm angry or frustrated when I'm playing a game, then I'm gonna accidentally misread something in chat the wrong way, take it the wrong way, and I'm gonna be tilted, and I'm gonna not be myself. So that's where I'm at, like. You know what I mean? But, and, 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 you know, so I, you know, and I've seen that happen with other streamers too. Like, they'll be frustrated at a game and they'll, they'll, they'll see something in chat and they'll take it totally out of context because of the mood and the state they're in. So, it's like, I totally agree. Like, I could pretty much play anything, but I, I like to play a game that I, I enjoy. Like, Overwatch, I like to play. Every game that I play, I, I, I play that I enjoy. Uh, I like that. I felt that misguided anger. Yeah, exactly. You felt that misguided anger from me before. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And that's not me. That's not the person I'm trying to betray. You know, we already have enough anger streamers on Twitch. You know, every other streamer is an anger, rain, anger raging streamer, and to be kind of honest, it gets kind of old. Um, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold uh, on. I won't name drop. Hold on, I won't name drop, but I have been trying to uh, impress upon a certain streamer that their channel isn't growing because. Of the negativity and attitude, I don't know. I don't know how else to tell them. You know, I wonder who that is. You know what? Hey, you know what? You know what? My wife would tell me. You know what? My wife used to tell me. Like, my wife is full of knowledge. <laughs> like straight up, my wife would tell me this. She said, "Cause I was dealing with certain situations like this before." You know, and it was like, well, maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to do that. And she said, "You know what? Just give it to God." And like. It'll, it'll, They'll fall off. They'll either figure it out or they'll fall off. Like, just, you gotta just let, like, my wife would say, you gotta let them fall flat on their face. You gotta let them fall flat on their face. You can't save everybody. And, and no, I'm not mentioning my wife a lot to get, to get, to get, um, to get brownie points. Like, no, this is serious. Cause, like, sometimes, like, I, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be talking, to, I'll be, you know, I'll be talking about my day because to me, even though, like, it's not about the money to me. This is like my job, right? So like, you know, my wife will be like, so how was your stream today? How was how was work today? You know, same thing with me. Same with and I'll be like, da 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 You know what I mean? And then, and then like, so I'll be like talking about like certain people and then be like, you know, you just got to like help them like just, just let them be, just let them be themselves. And just like if they fall off, they fall off. Well, anger. Handy brownie, poly, handy brownie points over 9,000. For real, right? <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna change my my point system to brownie points. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, anger management classes are not helping. Yeah. Anger management classes are not helping you. <laughs> I hear you, Grandpa. I hear you, man. Just play. Just stop playing Fortnite for a week. You'll be all right. <laughs> play some Monster Hunter. You definitely be all right. Shoot, dude, I'm really on the edge of my seat about throwing my money to the screen to that game. Oh, oh, oh man, it's it's awesome. But if I do, I'm gonna get it on PlayStation. But yes, you got to man. You, you can't leave me on. Only here. because there's no games I play with Bezoid, man. I feel like I don't ever play with Bezoid. I'm kind of sad. That just sounds so wrong. But seriously, so OG, what are your thoughts, man? So as a content creator myself, more just on the YouTube side, um, I know the reasons why people try to do the latest games because they feel like if they're the first one that's the way to boost their subscriber count to a thousand real quick because 
they're one of the first ones doing it. It's a new thing. It's a way to get those numbers up. Now, I'm not, I mean, I'm a numbers guy just for fun, but I don't care enough to play a game that I don't care about because, like you mentioned earlier, if you're playing a game you don't like, it's going to show. Right. Um, which is why I play the games that I play. As a matter of fact, there are some games that I stop um, putting content on all together just because I've lost the passion for it. So rather than just keep going for the sake of doing it, I move on to other things that I'm more hype about. And then if I ever get back into it, sure. But for the time being, I'm just going to continue doing what I like and making better content because I'm more passionate about it. Right. right. I, I, passion is everything. You know what I mean? Like, especially when it comes to concrete, to blah, 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 blah. content creating and streaming. You got to be passionate about what you're doing. Because if not, you're going to find yourself in a funk because, oh, well, this person didn't show up in my stream today. Oh, well, this number's like this. I'm like this. So what if this person didn't show up? So what if my my number's as freaking zero? I'm here to have freaking fun and freaking shoot somebody and blow something up or freaking do something crazy on a game that I enjoy. Like, for instance, you know, so what if I'm a freaking bronzer in Overwatch? I have fun playing Overwatch. I'm almost, I'm, I'm like, I found out today or the other day that I have to be a level 1500 to get to silver. I'm almost there. I'm like 160 something, 160 something, but I, I'm getting there. But you know what I mean? So what? If I have fun playing the game, I have fun playing the game. And I feel like, you know, that's where a lot of streamers miss it is that they just don't have fun playing the game. And even if they are playing the game that they are playing, they just, you don't see the passion. You don't see the fun. You don't see the fun. Um, and unfortunately, you know, when you're not having, I'm, I'm going to share, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share something with you. If you're being negative all the time, right? We already have a hundred million negative streamers on Twitch. So nine times out of 10, they're just going to be like, you know what? You're like everybody else. I might as well just go back to that one person. When you are when you are having fun and being engaging into the game, and you're being, uh, you know, and interjective with your audience, that's something that is unique because you're being yourself. There's only one way Grandpa can engage with you. There's only one way Bezoy can engage with you. There's only one way Handy Kill Kim can engage with you. There's only one way. Um, you know, Bezoy can engage with you. I don't know if I said the name of it. Uh, there's only one way that Crew Dog can engage with you. But if you're not enjoying yourself and you're not having fun, how can you engage with your audience? Because you're too frustrated. You're too messed up in your game. You're too not wanting to be there. You, you, you can't treat your job. You can't treat streaming like the job that you don't want to be at. You, 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 your streaming is the job that you want to be at. The streaming is your, the job alternative that you enjoy. Your, your streaming is your escape from the drama reality you know that's why I say the place where we have no no drama it's not that I don't want people to be on their best behavior is because when you're gaming you're, you're escaping from the realities of what's going on in your world that's why people game in the first place is to escape to 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 enjoy to to go into another like dimension to another world to have fun and you know it's the main reason why people Freaking game online is to meet and to have relation, to have relationships with people, enjoy themselves. But you can't always do that if you're being negative or you're being crazy. You be you, and he can be he, and she can be she, and I'm gonna be just DB. Ha ha ha! Yay! You you just did a flow. That's what's up. So, um, yeah, that's. The little topic I wanted to bring up. Uh, OG, I don't know if you have anything else you want to bring up. Uh, sure, I can bring up one more thing that I kind of want to talk about. Because, you know, since I'm kind of giving Nintendo so much hype, I think I should continue the hype train for Nintendo today. Um, <laughs> have y'all uh, been looking at the Nintendo Labo at all? I've heard about it. It's, I'm confused. Okay, so I'll explain what it is. Okay. So basically, the way the Nintendo Labo works is... You get these uh, pieces of cardboard, basically, and there are instructions on how to build certain things. 
you can attach your switch controller to these devices, the you know, to these pieces of cardboard once you build it properly to make something and be able to play it. For example, you can make a piano, for example, which I thought was legit because you know me and piano. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Or um, you can make like a fishing line and you can play a fishing game. So basically, it's Nintendo's way of combining toys and video games together. Because um, if you already have a Switch, then you just get the Labo, and then you know you build you know the things with the cardboard, and then you can play whatever game is associated with it. And of course, the you know when you get the package, it, it is it's not just one game. It comes with multiple pieces of cardboard that have different you know instructions to build or whatnot. That's interesting. Uh, I think it's a really cool idea. Uh, I think it's right up Nintendo's alley. Because uh, well, I've had a few people ask me kind of off screen, you know. Uh, you really like this Labo thing? Like, it seems kind of weird. I mean, it's, it's a bunch of toys. And I was like, well, y'all may not realize this, but Nintendo was a toy company before it was a video game. Really? Mm -hmm. A lot yeah, of I people remember. don't know that. I'm going to use the restroom. Really? Wow. Yeah. So. Yeah, Nintendo used to be just a straight-up toy company. So this is literally right up their alley. Now, there's a reason why they've done really good with video games and, with, you know, being, you know, somewhat PG and, you know, professional and whatnot is because this is what they've had to do for so long. So I really think that this Labo idea is ingenious. Um, a lot of people don't like the fact that you have to pay like 70, 80 bucks for pieces of cardboard. But let's be honest, if you've ever played a trading card game, you spend thousands of dollars on pieces of cardboard anyway. I don't want to hear that excuse. Um, <laughs> but it's really ingenious, especially if your parents have kids. Um, you can use this as a way of teaching your kids how to build stuff like if you want you know to kind of teach them something and then as a reward for them helping build you can that they can actually play with this device you know depending on whatever you make whether it be the piano or the fishing rod or whatever other things that you know you decide to create with it i think it's such a clever nintendo thing to do because only nintendo could get away with it only nintendo <laughs> uh, I don't know about something that. Yeah, i something that's crazy that's really innovative truly though um yep. that you will not see playstation doing something like that you won't see oh, microsoft actually. doing something like that only nintendo only can get away nintendo would have the balls to do something like that right <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow i i actually haven't heard about that until now and oh, uh wow. it's okay. actually um it's, it's actually kind of interesting i'm like i wonder what the things you can do with that oh yeah there's so much stuff you can do and of course there's gonna be and i'm gonna put this in quotation marks dlc if you will they're gonna come <laughs> up with new ideas later for this but um one it's because you know um industry experts are kind of saying well you know all right so they have all these great games in 2017 you know and, and they caused so many people to buy the switch and the switch was a big seller well, what's going to sell Switches in 2018 for people who are not into Legend of Zelda and Mario and all of that? Boom, mm -hmm. Nintendo Labo. This gets people that are not necessarily into gaming in the game because technically it seems like a toy. And the people, of course, right. will buy things for their kids that are toys. And then, boom, it slowly gets them into video gaming. And, of course, in order to utilize it, you have to have a Switch um, because, you know, it's compatible with a Switch and everything. And there you have it. More Switch, uh, more, uh, switch sales, basically. Point. Really good marketing. Yeah, that is. Um, Nintendo has been on their um, they've been on their P's and Q's lately. They, yeah, they've been on their A game. Like, I, I honestly like after they did like Breath of the Wild and all that, I was like, damn, I don't know if they're gonna be able to top it in 2018 because they they blew their load. But apparently, Nintendo still got a lot. Uh, they they're not done yet. Including like, they have they another three as well. Like, they they hitting the mark. Oh yeah, there's there's a reason Nintendo's been in business for so long, and you're seeing examples of it already right here. Oh man. So I, I'm excited about it. I'm not gonna get it myself, um, more for financial reasons, but um, but I, I think it's a fantastic idea, and I think for anybody who wants to get something for their kids that'll kind of teach them how to build, to be a kind of a handyman. And then, um, handy man, I like that. Rewarded for it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. If, uh, I'm gonna look into it for my little ones. 
I, my question is my okay. So I don't know if anybody asked this question, and Grandpa said too much work. I hear you. My question is, do you have to buy their cardboard pieces, or can you use like any pieces of cardboard? My understanding is that it has to be theirs. Um, I, I think that it's it, it's made a certain way to where you know. Because there's some electronics built in, depending on, you know, what you're trying to make. So uh, if you were just to get cardboard, it wouldn't work, so to speak. Well, so it's I, not just cardboard, I guess, is the best way to put it. Well, yeah, I'm just, I was just thinking because I was like, man, that would have been cool because it would have been eco-friendly, too. Because think about all the, like, cardboard boxes people throw away. And, yeah. you know what I mean? And think about all the cardboard people throw away and stuff like that. And so, like, that would be cool. Like, you, hey, you could make a game for the Nintendo Switch out of your cardboard boxes today. You know what I mean? And you just, <laughs> you just buy the, you just buy the thing that transforms it for the Nintendo Switch. You know what I mean? So yeah. that that would have been cool. Um, they discuss, uh, they did discuss it earlier, but the company in charge of putting the game. On the Switch platform is very familiar with COD. Yeah, with the COD franchise. Yes. Yes, the article is in the gaming news if you guys want to read it. But, yeah, I... Look. My experience with Nintendo and COD wasn't very pleasant. So... Agreed. I... 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 I, I honestly don't think that... I don't think it's going to do well. But... I don't know. Maybe Nintendo is going to turn a new leaf because if it does do well, it's going to be amazing because of the fact that you're going to be able to play multi, multi, multiplayer uh, Call of Duty like mobily. You know what I mean? And that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm hoping that they do do well. Yeah, I am too. I am too. Black Ops is, is my favorite series. Oh yeah, Black Ops Two was Black Ops Two was my ultimate favorite game. I could do twenty four hour vengeance on that game. But here's the thing, and I keep saying this. I hate going backwards, and I feel like, you know, everybody eat everybody everybody says that you know this is gonna be the COD to save COD. You know, even Optic Midnight tweeted out the other day, oh the grass is looking greener. COD uh call it uh Black Ops. Black Ops, um, you know, four coming out, and I'm like, yes, but it's like, we gotta stop, we gotta stop putting expectations on COD. We just gotta let COD be COD because there's not, there's not gonna be a COD that saves the franchise. The franchise is just where it is, and there's no, there's not gonna be the hype that it's like, it's like this, right? Say, for instance, you break up with your girlfriend and then you go back and you go back to that girl, right? It's not going to be the same as when you guys first met and you had all these like crazy experiences and it was hype and all the butterflies and, and crazy. It's not going to be like that, right? Because you're going back to something you've already experienced, right? And so it's kind of like the same thing. No matter what we do, you can't recreate the initial hype that Call of Duty's once was. Like, it just can't be done. Like, the reason why PUBG's so hyped, the reason Fortnite's so hyped, is because it was something different. It was a change. It was different. It wasn't something that was, like, re-bought up. And so, I don't know. That's just how I feel. The, and... thing, about, the thing that's... that's, that's up with COD is simply because everybody wants the COD wants COD to cater to their play style. Right. And you can't. And you can't do that because there's too many people want to play different types of style. Um, right. the, the, and the only other problem is is just the oversaturation of COD because it's COD every year. COD every year. Now, um, I still I still think um you know the franchise is is a success, of course, but um, I just I think they need to go their own route instead of trying to answer to this crowd, then trying to answer to this crowd, and trying to answer to this crowd. Because every time you answer to one crowd, the other crowd over there mad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not gonna you make can't everybody. Please everyone. You can't yeah, you can't. You can't. 
You know, you really can't. And if you go, there's even a saying in life, if you go around trying to please everybody, you're not going to be happy. So, I mean, you can't go around pleasing everybody. I think that this is a move, more interesting rumor that came out. Red Redemption 2 is featuring Battle Royal mode. Okay. Oh okay. <laughs> so, so... And here, I'm about to bust people's bubbles, okay? Because, because yes, it will. But it's going to be like, it's going to be like GTA in like GTA survival mode. If y'all don't know, GTA 5, before Fortnite came out, had their own take of PUBG survival mode, right? And I feel like it's going to be just like GTA. And unfortunately, even though GTA is a successful game, and it's a very successful game, and I got much respect for GTA, personally, from my experience, I don't like the GTA mechanics. I don't like, I just don't like the way GTA plays, in my opinion. And I feel like this is going to be the same thing, even in the survival mode. I feel like it's going to be like a GTA survival mode. But just with cowboys and horses. And it's just... I have to see the mechanics. I gotta see something different for me. Because for me to want to be uh, excited for this game. Because even though I have GTA. And even though GTA has their thing. Like I am not... I am not hype if the mechanics are the same. Just because it was difficult for me to play. Um, but I don't know. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts, DB? I mean, uh, uh, Brizoid. Um, yeah. My thoughts on it is, I gotta see more. I gotta see what they're doing with it. I've actually, I, I, I don't want everybody to go the battle royale route because that's the hot thing to do. Right. I, want, I want the originality that we got in game. That's mm -hmm. why people love so many games because of their original nature. Right. But right now. It's so many people just saying, oh, they're doing this over there. Let's do what they're doing. Right. Everybody's trying to capitalize on that money. And, and I understand business-wise why. I understand business-wise why. But as a gamer, I'm like, I, I, I want some games that's, that's not been made before. Right. Uh, I want something different. Right. I Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm more, I'm more hype about. Redemption, like, I want to see the graphic and the looking aspect just because it's been a while since we've had, like, a Western type game. And even though, like, I'm not into Westerns, I always like the the thought of a game. Like, I'm more looking, I'm more Thank hype you, of, I'm more hype about the, the visual aspects of Red Dead than I'm actually playing the, the game. Um, I just want to see what it looks like visually. And, but as far as like the um, the survival mode and all, I'm not I'm not really hype about that because it's like I don't want to play GTA Cowboys. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just me. But hold I, on. But you gotta understand. Well, you might not want to play GTA Cowboys. You know, it's a whole bunch of other people that might. You know. Yeah. Right. 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 <sighs> But I, like I said, I, I understand where they're coming from because they're gonna probably make money from that. But I'm just like, let's let's get some new, let's get some new, new things out there. Definitely, yeah. I'm 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 like just for instance, I'm ready to put Call of Duty to rest. I I'm I think it's time just to come a whole new route. You know. Uh, well, see, that's the only way that's gonna happen is somebody take its place. Yeah. Because it, it feels a void like. The MMO is still a void. There's always going to be an MMO. There's always going to be a shooter. And what's going to take a spot? That's, that's the crazy thing. Yeah. And I don't think nothing will because it's such a loyal following. And, you know, the esports e alone and COD League alone, you know what I'm saying? They, they're never going to let it let, They're never going to let it die. Look, Counter-Strike still going on. <laughs> yeah, I know. How long Counter Strike been here? But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I know. But Counter Strike is, I don't know. I don't. Well, that's a good question. What makes Counter, what makes Counter Strike different from everything else? It's just the fact that this tournament it was like the first that that did it. Yeah. And people hold, 
people hold sentimental things to that and they hold memories and they don't want to let that stuff go. So the same thing is Call of Duty. You know, you still remember the first time you slapped somebody with a shotgun in the face. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you got to think of it like that. I don't think Kyle will ever just stop. It's just, I, I, I want them to say, you know what? We're going to make a game. We hope you guys enjoy it. But we're not going to take everybody else input and because we're going to make a bad game because we're trying to please everybody. And not, we're not going to please anybody trying to please everybody. So. For a gaming company to do that, they got to turn off all social media. <laughs> <laughs> they just got to turn off Twitter and, and just not pay attention to social. I don't know. OG, what are your thoughts? OG's quiet over there. <laughs> I know you like me getting my input in there, but... Uh, so, basically, gaming companies need to make it, let a game just be its own game. They need to quit trying to incorporate all these extra modes to try to keep up with all these other games that have different modes. So Call of Duty should stick with what they're good with and stick with that. Forget all these extra modes. Um, and same with everything else. Like, Counter-Strike hasn't done anything in my that I can understand that, you know, has put them outside of their box and i think that's really one of the biggest reasons that it's so popular one yeah it was one of the first and two you don't see a lot of twists and turns with it it's just, just what simple it is. just exactly what dv said yeah. go ahead um so there you go i mean I already, there's backup right there right but, there um, um but yeah i mean games just seem to be what they are they, and just like you said they need to turn off social media all together twitter um, Facebook, all that mess. Say, you people have an idea for a game, regardless of what type of genre it is, MMO, whatever. You have a, a th an idea, you put that down, and you make it. If it works, yay. If it doesn't, that's okay. But if you if you make something that uh, is just like something else, not everybody's gonna join because they're gonna say, oh, this is just another PUBG, or oh, this is just another World of Warcraft. You know what I mean? You, mm -hmm. you got to find what is different for you and stick with that as opposed to trying to be like everybody else. It's really as simple as that. I mean, that's why Nintendo is so good is because they do things way outside the box. Right. And sometimes with a box, literally, to be different. A cardboard box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with a cardboard box, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, it, it's just a matter of sticking to what – sticking to your guns and not focusing too much on what 30 different opinions are saying because at the end of the day you can't please everyone definitely if, if, if it was a if it was a general consensus of the fans saying we want this that's that's different because you're listening to your fans but if you sure. got one guy i don't want sniping in the game and then the other guy we gotta have sniping in it and then you got to because they want the game based to their place <laughs> right that's different than a general consensus of everybody saying okay this is not good for the game right so. you know what you're right yeah so i mean there is a balance obviously so yeah mm -hmm. there's a, a vast majority that's like hey this is kind of an issue and you look at it you're like you know what? that might be an issue okay yeah that's one thing right We're hearing like 30 different opinions and gripes about certain things they want just so they can be better than everybody else ignore that man. yeah you know, yeah ignore yeah ignore the rager ignore the raging <laughs> ignore the rage <laughs> you know um yeah and speaking of gaming and everything there's one final topic i'm gonna bring up um it's very crazy but this guy in china i think it was in china or japan was in a gaming cafe and was playing a game for 20 hours straight and when he got up to go to the bathroom he couldn't feel his legs so he was basically paralyzed and they had to go and called the paramedics to lift him out and that person is, is now paralyzed and, wow. and this is this is this is exactly the reason why I, I was talking about last week about facebook if they're doing the streaming thing about um the um the whole four hours thing i agree like i said i don't agree with the whole four hours thing even though i only stream for four hours I feel like there has to be some limitations because some people just don't know when to quit. And, you know, and just like that guy, he wasn't streaming, he was gaming 20 hours straight. And now the man is paralyzed. Like, that is, that is, that is nuts. 
And you know, this is the thing that's really big in China as far as like major gaming addiction. And this is exactly why there are these doctors out there that are trying to label gaming as a, as a disorder. Basically because of what's happening in China. Like I literally just put two and two together. Right. Because remember, I don't know if you remember a few episodes back, it was kind of a while ago, but I report on a Chinese person as well who had a long gaming session of Arena of Valor, which was, of course, a different name over there. Right. This woman played for so long that she went blind in one eye because she was so addicted to that game. Like, a lot of people in China have a big addiction to gaming, like, a lot worse than what we have it here. Yeah. So, yeah. doctors are trying to nip it in the butt now here to prevent issues that are going on in China. Because a lot of these, these things that are going on with people having these issues because of gaming is most because of what happens in China. Right. Like, I'm going to be real with you guys. Like, I, I enjoyed the 24-hour stream, but that, after doing that 24-hour stream, like, my body was jacked up for, like, I would say a whole month because me being being up 24 hours. And, yeah. you know, and, and they already, de uh, they already decided it a mental health disorder. And yeah, and, and you know, I I just feel like you know I feel like there just needs to be some kind of like they need to like you know it's just crazy like first of all like it was crazy because they were out there the guy was playing the game that you were talking about um yeah uh the one that got paralyzed they and yeah. China they consider that game evil okay I don't know I, that game's cool I love that game but I am. I don't know. I could not be. A, well, I can't say that because I literally played Call of Duty twice, 24 hours in a row. But still, like, you know, I don't know. And it's crazy, like, how it's just, I don't know. I don't know how so, to. Plan for a long game session. Aware of what's going on around you is different. You know, if you know you've been playing for a long time and you've getting up, taking breaks, walking around. That's different than what these guys is going, you know, doing and just sitting there and not moving and like it's almost like, you know, it's like it's they're being possessed. Right. Just keep playing, yeah. just keep playing, and and there is oh man, there's a difference between I'm gonna do a 24 hour stream and I know after every couple hours take a break, take a, you know what I'm saying, go walk up, you know. Right. Go but away. right. Right, but I do I do suggest though if you are going to do a twenty four hour stream, in any cases you need to prepare your body because my I prepared my body and it still did a toll on my body on my arms on my arms it did like, um like I felt carpal tunnel like, like for like the longest time I felt car carpal tunnel and my arm was jacked up, everything like that and then my elbows hurt, it was it was bad but I um but I also suggest that. If you are going to do a 24-hour stream, um, don't drink any energy supplements. Don't even drink rogue energy. No energy supplements just because it's going to mess up your heart. In fact, the only thing I drank during my 24-hour stream was the... I drink water. Do, uh, do the pee-pee dance often. Yeah, like I went to... <laughs> yeah, I, I went to the bathroom as much as possible. Um, you know, and, and I, you know, and I literally bring in the sub that like I understand why Facebook's doing limits. I think it should be, but I don't because again, it 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 messes up with the people that are like in the beginning of streaming. Like they feel like to become big, you have to do a twenty four hour stream. Well, guess what? If you don't promote that twenty four hour stream properly, and you do a twenty four hour stream. Uh, do you realize that you could do a 24-hour stream and nobody show up? You see what I'm saying? So it's a lot of times people think that oh, if I do a 24-hour stream, I'm gonna become big. I'm gonna become like this major streamer. It's just like when you get rated by somebody like big, you know? Oh, you think you think you're headed? No, you still gotta grind because nine times out of ten, when you get rated by a partner or by a big streamer, nine times out of ten, not all those people are gonna continue to keep coming back. Maybe one or two, but not everybody. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and so, like, you know, a lot of times people get the the misconception that, 
Oh, if I stream for 12 hours, if I stream for 15 hours a day, thank if I stream for... for uh, yo, thank you for the biddies. Yo, thank you for the biddies. Appreciate it. Look at all them biddies, man. Thank you for them biddies. Uh, I know. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get there, but I appreciate it. Yo, I mean... And, you know, and I know I'm not partnered, and I know I'm not no big streamer, but I can tell you the one thing that works is not streaming 15 hours, doing 24-hour streams. It's being consistent with whatever you do. Be If you stream 30 hours, if you stream 30 minutes a, a day, okay, stream 30 minutes a day. If you stream every day at 4 o'clock, stream every day at 4 o'clock. You have to be consistent because the thing is, is... When people come to a person, like, when people know you're consistent and they're like, who am I going to go watch? Oh, hey, guess what? I know Handy's on it this time. I'm going to go over there because I know Handy's on there for sure. Um, You know, that was the point for the biz. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Um, You know, so, like, that's the thing that I, I you know, people get the wrong idea when people do 24-hour streams because they think that, Doing 24-hour streams is going to get you noticed and get you somewhere, and it's it's not. You know, I can understand oh. do, do, do it for t charity and stuff like that, but even people that do it for charity take breaks or they have somebody switch off for them. Um, yeah, that's what I thought most people did it for the charity or like a, a, a celebration of something. Right. Um, I, I celebrated getting, you know. Partnered. Uh, partnered or. Right. Uh, yeah, something like that. That's that's different. I don't think it, it's Thursday. I'm just gonna do 24 hours. You know, nah, um, having 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 like you said, having consistency is key. You right. Know? Uh, as much as you can without affecting your life. Right. Right. As much as you can without uh, affecting other parts of your life. Right. Like you know, that's why I stream like now because hey, I can stream. My wife's not home. My kids not home. I'm not taking away from my life for my kid. You know what I mean? That's why I don't stream on the weekends because I'm not going to take away from my wife and my kid. Grandpa says, I'm a big streamer, but considering a diet to become a smaller streamer. <laughs> 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 oh, there you go. Start, 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 start purging, Grandpa. No, no, but no, I feel you. And, uh, you know, you know, I know some people, they do 24-hour streams or 17-hour streams just to try to get that 70 concurrent. In... And, you know, this is going to start causing problems for everybody because, like, you know, what he was talking about what's going on with China, they have regulations now. Well, like, for example, gaming cafes, you know, there's a curfew. Where you can't play Yo, play. thank you for the biddies. <laughs> man, hold up. Biddies, man. Thank you for the biddies. Oh, go ahead. You're good, OG. Nah, you're good. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, China has all these regulations on gaming and how often people can game because of all these medical issues. If we keep doing all this other stuff, you know, in gaming to where it's affecting our lives and it's becoming news all the time, uh, the, government's, the government's gonna start stepping in and yep. we're gonna be limited on like online play or whatever the case would be it's possible so. net neutrality that's why net because neutrality is probably going to be a thing net Think. neutrality which is something a subject i've been avoiding because that's a real tough one to discuss <laughs> but yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a possible thing i so mean it's going to be a reason if, if it keeps happening it's going to be why a lot more people are going to turn to net neutrality being a thing because it's going to be like well the net the net should be limited because people are over here you know, passing out on streams and passing out playing video games 24 hours a day, you know. And don't get me wrong, I'm still going to keep up to my word. When I said I reached 5,000 followers, I'm going to do another 24-hour stream. But, you know, again, that's, you know, I'm going to be prepared. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, that, why do you think I did it so long ago, you know, long away? You know what I mean? I'm not going to be doing it, you know, every freaking, you know, every week, you know. Um, so, I mean, that was, that was, uh, uh, something that I said a long time ago and probably after I do the 5,000, the 5,000 
the 5,000 follower stream, that'll probably be my last 24 hour stream because now that I've done more research and, and done more, you know, thinking process of myself, like you got to think about it like this, right? Even though it's for a good cause, even though it's for a good thing, like you got to look at yourself as an athlete, right? Do you want, do you want a long, do you want a long career in this game or do you want to like a short, a short, uh, a short career, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I gotta look at myself like a football player. Yeah, I can go play, play 12 hours a day, play 12 hours a day, but at the end of the day, what is it gonna do for me in the long run, in the long term? You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm done with myself. Like, I wanna be streaming till like, I'm, I wanna be streaming past grandpa's age. You know what I mean? I wanna, you know, I'm gonna be streaming until. Until either Twitch can't let us stream anymore or something happens. Like, streaming is my thing. Streaming is my career. It's what I love doing. It's my passion. And, you know, so it's going to be something that I always do. So I started thinking about, like, in the long run, how can I do this for the long term? And continuing to do 24-hour streams, how my body felt afterwards, even when I was prepared. Like, I'm like, dude, I, I just, yeah. Like, I just can't. I just can't. Kink. Still yeah, it's still hard. Yeah, it's still hard. It's still hard. Yeah, no. You're still going to get affected at the end Right. Of the at the end of the day. day. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. Most people that do 24 hour streams have had. Uh, un, what? An un. What? An undecided issue that contributes to what's happening to them. Me too. Uh, net neutrality is lacking, lacking away from anyone becoming anything that doesn't want. I, I agree. Like, I, I, I'm just saying that, like, you know, people will, will come up with a reason on why to have net neutrality be a thing. And if we're not careful, this could be one of the reasons. Um, because I mean, streaming, gaming, online gaming is a thing. Like, I think they said in China, there's over 500,000 gamers in China, something like that. And it's a thing. And we tend, we tend to copy China in some senses when it comes to that. So yeah. it, it could be, it could be a thing. Yo, 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 what up fire team? What's good with you? But you know, definitely, definitely. Um, do you, any of y'all have anything that you want to discuss? Um, yeah. I think we're I think we're pretty good this yeah, week. Yeah, I'm gonna um, look for too, for anything else that I have. I think we're good now. Yeah. What? Um, most of my stuff I want to um, save till next week too because you know I want to make sure these rumors are getting checked out good. We copy yeah. China. We copy China when it comes to uh, to technology and stuff, buddy. Believe it or not, China's the very first ones that come out with a lot of these things. Uh, so yeah, we're we, a little bit ahead of us, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, we buy Chinese products, and you know, and I'm just saying, like, you know, if if China starts, you know, freaking, you know, like being crazy with the whole stuff, it'll give us a reason to do that. So yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, processor. See exactly. Now we on the same page. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and end the stream. And unfortunately, I can't raid nobody at the moment because my phone is completely the. Actually, it might be charged now. Hold on, let me be right back. Right, let's go see. I'm sorry. It's just easier for me to raid people on my phone than on the PC because, yeah, I'm only on one monitor at the moment. So hold on, let's see. China has more people watch more. Uh, more games. It gives them an advantage in influencing the gaming industry. Yeah, right. Hold on, I'll be right back, guys. You guys can talk amongst yourselves or whatever. Do do what you do. I'll be like two minutes. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's why um I fully haven't started the streaming thing yet because I want to be consistent. I want to stream one week. The way you know my life has been hectic last couple of months because of the moving and everything and getting living into a new area and everything like that so but once that yeah. settled down and now I can be consistent hmm. yeah and I already I already got my 
I already got my so-called niche game that I'll start streaming with, but I'll be streaming a lot of games because I love games. So oh, you only yeah. see a lot of games on the channel, but Monster yeah, being Hunter a content creator is a lot easier because you don't necessarily have to be as much of a tight schedule. So you know, I don't always have to post videos on like Fridays, for example. I can do a Saturday one week instead, or even a Sunday. You know, mm. it's not. Because, you know, I'm not, I'm not having a live audience, so it's not a bunch of people waiting on me at once to build something out there. I just throw something out there and they can watch at their leisure, so I'm yeah. not constrained by a schedule. So that's a good thing. Well, that's what's easier about being a content creator. Now, of course, for anybody who does a lot of video editing, which is something I want to do later on in the future, it does take a lot of work and a lot of time, um, which I'll eventually get to one day once I have all the equipment set up. But um, for now, I'm just going to be a content creator because as far as streaming is concerned, I just don't feel I have the right equipment, nor have I decided that I, there's a certain day that I want to do it. You know what I mean? Especially with what I have going on this time as well, you know. So it's not easy for me to just walk up and stream, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was thinking about what they were saying about streaming a game that you want to play. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you want to stream a game that you want to play so other people can see that game and say, oh, wow, yeah. this game is kind of awesome, you know what I'm saying? And, and then they can play it. And you then they can play I want to play this with you. Yeah, so mm -hmm. the more and more I thought about it, I was like, yeah, you would want to stream what you want to play because you're showing other people why you love this this game. Yeah. And um, I, like I said, I, that's why I'm going to stream Monster Hunter. I'm going to be streaming other games, but Monster Hunter is that one first one. Because right. um, it's new, and so you still can, you know, newer people who haven't seen it can be like, oh, this just came out. I can get into this. Or people who are like, I wouldn't, I've never tried the Monster Hunter series. I wonder what this, you know, this one is about. Or, yeah. And so, and then they're bringing new content, but you know, definitely um, this will probably be on the channel when yeah. I finally do start. Full time stream. What? What? Monster yeah. Hunter? Yes. When are, are you? Are you? Have you announced when your first stream's gonna be? No, because um, it's it's. I was waiting to, you know, things settle down with after this move. Okay. Because yeah, it's so much hectic going on. Some days I can get on, some days and I'm not, and I want to be consistent. Right. Right. I do want to be consistent with the stream. I want to be like you and Grandpa. You know. Oh, you know Bezo is gonna be on this time. You know? Right, right. You you know, you, like you know when Grandpa's gonna be on, and if you, you don't, you know when Grandpa's gonna be on. You, you know, know, right? And you, you don't. Know what day of the week that is Ladies' Night? You right. Know what's going on. Right. <laughs> you know, and that's the thing, you know, and yeah, and but see, and you guys were talking about the whole. The problem is, is like, you have streamers that are built on certain games. And then what happens when that game dies? They don't know how to transition to another game. Uh, like, you know, you have big streamers that just stream Call of Duty. You know, but what happens when Call of Duty dies? They don't know how to transition to another game. You see what I'm saying? And their yeah. audience, sometimes their audience doesn't understand. But that's why, like, I don't, you know, I just play a game that I love to enjoy, you know? And that's why I play a game different every day because sometimes my game sometimes sometimes i just like i wake up and i want to play freaking PUBG. sometimes i wake up and i want to play overwatch you know what i mean uh yes. just do what you do y yeah exactly just do what you like yeah some some streamers moved to mixer and caffeine yeah i, I remember i told you guys about caffeine when it started uh, i me personally like i like the community that i have here and that's why I don't move. Um, it's because it's not that I enjoy I enjoy connecting with my audience, and I can't I can't meet a Bezoid over at Mixer. I can't meet a Grandpa over at Mixer. I can't meet a Crew Dog over at Mixer. I can't meet a Just DB over to Mixer, and it would be wrong for me to ask them to move you know what i mean that's where i'm at and that's why i don't move you know i can't have the bit song over at mixer because why mixer doesn't have bitties you know what i mean 
And so that's why I that's why I stay where I'm at. And you know, that's why I love to be where I'm at. And the point is to do what you do and just be funny or good. See, and I'm a little bit of funny and yeah. good. I'm a little bit of funny and good depending on the game that it is. Um <laughs> if it's Overwatch, I'm a, I'm a little bit good. If it's Fortnite, I'm just funny. <laughs> um All right, so we're going to go ahead and raid somebody. Um, once I find the person to raid, I will let, um, OG take us out and we will go, I don't know where he's taking I'm looking us to. for a raider. Yeah. Um, part of the reason I don't stream right now, um, other than technology, um, is because I don't consider myself really an entertainer. I'm more of like the teacher. Um, you know, I'm that boring teacher that's like, Okay, you have to press the X button to do this, ladies and gentlemen. You know, like I'm, I'm not the entertainment type. I'm the type that's good. And once I get good at certain games, which is what I'm working on right now, um, I do want to eventually start streaming a game that I'm really good at, so that at least you know there'll be a reason to watch as opposed to just seeing this guy who's not giving you a lot of attention. Because I I'm not that as much of a people's person as people think I am. I'm really not. Um, I just do what I do because I have a passion for it. This is the, this uh, this is the guy that taught me how to speak to an empty room, by the way, on a stream. But this guy thinks he's not yeah. entertaining. But whatever. Well, I, I, I'm a teacher. I'm not an entertainer. I'm a teacher. <laughs> so. I think I think you're entertaining, and I think you're very knowledgeable. I think your knowledge is entertaining. Your knowledge is yeah. <laughs> the knowledge is entertaining. I agree, Handy. Because it's almost like inside jokes that he get that everybody gets. Right, you know exactly, saying? exactly. And, and it makes me laugh when he says such things because I get what he's saying, and I'm like, <laughs> I, it is it is very entertaining to me. Very. Well, I'm glad y'all y'all appreciate that. I'm I'm glad. And you know, maybe one day when I do start streaming, maybe I'll be better than what I think. I more well, oh no, Grandpa, you're entertaining as well. No, definitely, definitely, Grandpa, you are entertaining. Uh, well, I mean, why do you think out of everybody, I'm always, I always try to be in your stream, at least, at least show up. And sometimes I feel bad, and I got to show love to other streamers because I normally give you all my love, Grandpa, because I, I love you, man. I love you, man. But and, and, and oh, gee, I felt the same way though too, though. Like I was like, man, nobody's gonna. I'm not entertaining. Nobody's gonna want to watch a handy a handy guy do what he do, and then you know I don't need to be on camera. And then come to find out, everybody loves watching me do my thing. So it's like you may not think you're entertaining, but there's gonna be somebody out there that does. There always is. Yeah. So I I am, I I I definitely think you would be entertaining. And by the way, I did find a raider, and they are a sub to me. And you know how it is if you sub to me. You get raid priority, you get the play priority, you get all that good stuff. Um, not because Twitch not because Twitch enables it, it's because it's what Handy does. And so it's handy enabled. It's hand <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's handy, it's handy capable. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. And we're gonna go give this guy um, a raid. Please make sure to go follow him. He's probably one of the best one player gamer console streamers I've seen. Um, because why? Not because he's like really good at the game, but because he enter he entertains the chat by by being uh, he communicates with the chat. He he's on point and with the chat. And ironically enough, he told me that he learned it from me. That's kind of crazy, but I, I'm definitely appreciative. And we're gonna go give him a raid. So in five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna go raid him, and I'm gonna put it in the chat. Don't worry. Wait. I think uh, we forgot to take it out. <laughs> you forgot to let uh. Oh, you you oh, my bad, <laughs> my bad, <laughs> my bad. They they know where I'm gonna be at. Yeah, they, yeah but I'm serious, OG. Like you, very entertaining, with, especially the way you the way you word things. It's like a joke and serious at the same time. And yeah. it's like an intelligent person who's cracking a joke while, you know, t teaching you something. So Right. Very we're, we're still live because I'm putting it in the chat. So there we go. I put the thing in the chat. There we go. And 
Now, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Be make sure Good to watch job. our watch our YouTube's and stream tomorrow at Able Gamers. <laughs> there you go. There's our out.